What's up guys, JT Thomas with Performance Golf. In today's video, I wanna talk you through a right arm throw technique that's gonna help you unlock your intuition and really get some energy to the club head. That's really the most important thing I want you to understand is that most people struggle with actually getting energy to the club head and that's what we're gonna learn how to do today. Really learn how to use your right arm, dominant arm, to help you hit some super nice golf shots. So the first concept I want to explain to you is how to move the club head properly or get energy to the club head. What oftentimes I see on the lesson tee with my students is one where they move the grip a very long way, but the club head itself doesn't actually move. And so if I just grab the club here and do that with two hands, just like I was gonna hit a shot, this may look familiar to you in terms of how you use your body and, the, and your arms in the backswing. So if I were to swing back here and just move the grip and not move the club head very far, you can see how the club head is really below my hands. The club's very heavy and I'm gonna start to have to bend my arms, really over bend my wrists to actually get some energy into the club head. So what I want you to do is grab the club with just your right arm. Again, this is why we call it the right arm throw technique. And you're gonna take a practice swing with your right arm. Now. What you'll notice is when you do this, you would never take the club back to where you would move the grip and keep the club head closer to the ground. So this is how most people would actually do a throw in the backswing. No good, so go back here. Energy of the club head is really down. The grip has moved a long way and the club head has not moved at all. Instead, what you're gonna feel is that the club head is the first thing that receives the energy. And again, this is how we would do it if we just took a right arm only swing. So if I go back here with my right arm, you're gonna notice the club head got way up in the air, my wrist began to bend and my elbow began to bend versus the poor way when I do this, I move the grip very far and the club head is stuck on the ground. Again, my wrist is uncocked and the club is very heavy. So those are the two differences in the takeaway that help you set up the energy production throughout the swing. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit some balls with just our right arm. You're gonna take your, right, uh, your left hand, put it on the back of your tricep just to help you here with a, a little bit of the swing. Swinging with just your right arm and a heavy club can hurt your elbow, so I wanna make sure you guys aren't doing that. Just have your left hand just back on the, on the end of your, uh, your tricep and just do some swings where again, you're trying to get the energy of the club head to go up and then you're just gonna swing it out through. And you don't have to hit this very hard. Again, the goal that we're just trying to have here is we want the club head to move farther than the grip. So the bad version would be the grip move really far and I can't hit the ball that way. I have no energy to hit the ball versus me folding and bending my right arm. And again, that gets energy to the club head, allowing me to hit the ball pretty far. So just on the back of my tricep, bending my arm, swinging you through. Again, you don't have to hit these very hard. That ball went about 60 or 70 yards, but that was the correct way where I'm bending my right elbow, getting the energy to the club head right away. This would be the poor way. And again, I probably won't hit this very good because um, it's very hard to create energy like this. But going back, moving the grip really far, and then uh, I had to try so hard to create some energy into the ball because I didn't create any in the backswing. So again, we'll do this one more time the good way, making sure that I am getting some momentum to the club head. Again, left hand here just on the back of my right arm, trying to make sure that the club head moves up in the backswing. Again, allowing me to have some energy to actually hit this ball with. So just trying to fold this right arm, hinge the wrist, get the club head energy. And again, that allows me to actually hit the ball out there to some distance. So that's gonna be step one to help you unlock your intuition. Guys, if I were gonna throw something here down the range, I'm not worried about how far this bucket would be away from me. We already have some built-in GPS to help us understand where we need to go. And so adding some energy to the club head, using your right arm efficiently early on in the backswing is really gonna help you understand where to let go of the energy so that you hit some really nice golf shots. So that's step one or drill one of learning how to get some energy to the club head, allowing you to hit the ball. The next drill is one where you are going to get the feeling a little bit in your left hand. So you're gonna take your club, set up to the ball, grab the club just at the bottom of the shaft where the shaft and the grip meet. And again, all you're trying to do is take two fingers and lift the club up or add some energy to the club. Again, if you're gonna do this wrong or the bad way, you would push the energy down, the grip would move a long way, the club head would be close to the ground. So this feeling or this drill, you're just taking your couple of your fingers, pushing them right on the 
bottom of the grip and trying to lift up that club right away. Again, adding energy to the club head. By doing so, you'll get a feeling of what it feels like for your left hand, and then you're gonna add those two together. So the feeling that we're gonna have is, okay, now that's what my left hand feels like, that's what my right hand feels like in order for me to get some energy to the club head. I'm gonna try to knock one out there about a half swing, feeling that club load up, again, adding some energy. You might even hit this farther than you typically do, because if you do this the wrong way, you don't have much energy by this half point in your swing. If you do it the correct way, you're gonna have a lot of energy in the club head early on. So here we go, trying to get that club head to go up, make the club head move farther than the grip, and then just go ahead and bunt one out there. So again, I hit that one pretty solid. I actually hit it pretty far as well for a half swing. And again, that comes from adding that energy to the club head early on in the swing. So first drill, just right arm only swings, feeling the club head energy with your right arm. Second drill, uh, adding in your left hand feel, putting some energy to the shaft early on, which is again, very similar feeling, but blending those two together, we should hit some really nice shots. So the last piece to really unlock your intuition with this right arm throw is to actually mimic throwing the ball. And what I want you to do to, to understand this or how this actually works is that just like how we throw, we have a little bit of step or pressure before my right arm reaches the top of the swing. And then again, this is the intuition that we talk about. So when I'm gonna throw, or if I'm trying to throw this ball as far as I can, I would start to shift my weight or let my left foot go forward as my right arm pulls back, even in a small scenario where I'm just gonna toss this ball right down the range here, you'll notice I'll take a step forward as I pull my arm back. And so this concept is again, what allows you to unlock some of your intuition where you can start to use that built-in GPS to help you hit the ball where you want. And so the concept that I want you guys to understand is that as our arm is finishing the backswing, we're starting to shift our weight towards our front side. And so what we're gonna do to mimic this is we're actually gonna throw the ball at the ground. And so we'll put our club down here we'll do some swings understanding, okay, I have to feel this right arm fold, that's really important. Well, I want to correlate the top of my swing or the top of the energy production with a shift onto my left foot. So what I'm gonna try and do is imagine I'm throwing the ball at the ground as hard as I can, pulling it back, shifting. And so you'll notice again, right arm finishes, weight shifts, throw it down at the ground. Very similar, the, the club head is gonna be like the golf ball. I'm getting energy to the club head, I'm throwing it down at the golf ball. That's what we wanna feel. And again, the intuition comes from that shifting of weight as my arm is reaching the top of the swing. So we're gonna do this one more time, kinda of put this back here, right arm up, shift, throw. So that's the feeling that we wanna have. We go ahead and grab the golf club again. We put these pieces together, throwing this club head back with some power, with some speed again through this right arm allowing that right arm to tell us when to shift the weight again adding that timing and intuition into your swing that you're looking for so here just trying to put these pieces together adding some energy to the club head letting my right arm tell me when i need to start shifting my weight so we're going to go ahead and try and put these pieces together energy to the club head shift the weight and hit it so hit that super flush again i use that right arm to tell me when I need to shift my weight. I would never go up to the top of my swing or the top of my throw and shift my weight too early. Again, that would look like a very poor thrower or I wouldn't stay on my back foot and throw from back here either. So adding that understanding what everyone really knows how to do, which is throw something and we're trying to do that with the club head. So feeling again that we wanna have, getting the club head up, adding some energy to the club head allowing that right arm to tell me when I need to shift my weight. And go ahead and hit another really nice one out here. Energy to the club head, right arm back, shift my weight. So again, super pure contact. I hit that really, really well. So if you guys are struggling a little bit with your contact, you can't really figure out what to do with your right arm, I want you to try this right arm technique, add some energy to the club head, allow that energy to tell you when to shift your weight, I promise you will start to hit some amazing golf shots. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like this, please comment, like, subscribe down below. Looking forward to hearing from you guys.